Welcome to an introduction into WISIC. The acronym WISIC stands for Whole Systems Integrated Care, which started back in 2014-15. The purpose was to have an integrated care data warehouse that would help to develop dashboard visualisation to provide an integrated population health view of the sector. So Northwest London could use integrated care data to understand the population better and find innovative ways of working together to better support the needs of the population. The WISIC dashboard also provides a linked integrated summary of individual patients' health and social care journey, which can be used to case find and case manage patients who require more targeted or proactive care. WISIC holds the care records of over 2 million registered individuals within North West London and shares data with over 350 GP practices who provide primary care, acute providers, mental health providers, community providers, eight local authorities, and a number of out-of-area providers. WISIC holds a number of different data feeds which help to create a rich data source for analytics. In response to COVID-19, additional data feeds were secured which has been combined with the existing rich integrated care data. This slide highlights incoming data feeds from different providers and the frequency of submission. WISIC has information governance in place which supports the information sharing agreement between itself and its providers of services within North West London because the WISIC data warehouse contains patient level information. All these providers of services have signed up to an information sharing agreement and the premise of the ISA says each organisation will submit PID level information of the care that they have provided to their patients to the WISIC team. More information about the general principles, standards and governance agreed between the trusted organisations and more information about the secure framework for sharing between data controllers can be found under the information sharing section of the WISIC website. IG also supports the maintenance and processing of the data within the WISIC data warehouse and then the creation of the analytics, i.e. the dashboards. The data goes through a course of cleansing and then algorithms or business rules are applied. The most predominant algorithm is the long-term condition algorithm. We also have the patient segment algorithm, which is an algorithm that enables the user to select cohorts of patients with particular health needs. It can quickly highlight patients who are more at risk of serious deterioration, allowing for professionals to proactively target patients and manage them effectively. Feel free to pause this video here to read the description and understand the data inclusion which forms the logic. WISIC also has a risk segmentation algorithm which stratifies the population into specialty, high risk, rising risk, stable risk and well patients. It also helps to highlight which patients are most appropriate for case management, proactive care, routine long-term condition management or transactional care in a more simple or more visual way than provider patient systems may currently allow. When viewed within one single dashboard, it helps to facilitate discussion and coordination between care professionals from different settings by providing a holistic view of individual patient records. WISIC also contains other algorithms such as the Q admissions, which is an algorithm that predicts a patient's risk of admission to hospital based on a number of different factors. The Patient Activation Measure, or PAM, is another algorithm, which is a 22-item measure that assesses a patient's knowledge, skill and confidence of self-management. Electronic Frailty Index, or EFI, is another algorithm which uses a patient's frailty score coded within primary care. It ranges from fit, mild, moderate and severe and is based on a total number of deficits within eight different categories. WISIC also contains the Q-COVID algorithm, which is an evidence-based risk prediction model that estimates a patient's combined risk of hospitalisation and mortality from contracting COVID-19. If you would like to find out more about any of these algorithms or find out which dashboards they can be found in, please get in touch with the WISIC team. Once the data enters the data warehouse, is cleansed and algorithms are applied, we then have the reporting layer. This is where the WISIC dashboards can be divided into a number of different types. 
Like the integrated patient summary dashboards, is a suite of dashboards that provides visibility of patient activity across the patient pathway and across all care settings, regardless of the source of clinical system and without requiring manual data collection. It also provides a snapshot view of patient care and activity costing, aiding MDT discussion and coordination between care professionals from different care settings by providing a shared patient narrative. In the development of dashboards, the WISIC team have had the guidance, leadership and support of clinical leads across the sector in helping to define and scope the dashboards that have been delivered. About five years ago, in the development of the case finding dashboards, the clinical leads decided on five things they deemed important to the sector at that point in time. And that were identifying high A&E attendees, identifying high non-elective admissions, identifying high DNA rates, identifying those with a recently diagnosed long-term condition, and identifying those with an out-of-date care plan. WISIC has the Watchlist Dashboard, the Patient List Radar and other radars which look at each one of these categories and identifies patients that fall under each one, aiding the monitoring of patient outcomes for both individuals and the population. WISIC has a number of long-term condition radars which help to cover long-term conditions defined in QOF. Each radar provides a summary of metrics that support long-term condition management across health and social care. There are a number of scenarios where long-term condition radars will be of use. For example, prioritising patients for review based on the total number of red flags or risk factors. Facilitating virtual wards by rapidly sorting patients based on the professional's chosen parameters without having to open every patient's set of individual notes on the provider's clinical system. Recalling individuals for appointments where certain checks have not been completed or expired. The radar will highlight missing information or out-of-date information and allowing for print-offs, which may help to get a handle on patient trends and better understand their condition. Dividing the population into groups of people with similar needs is an important first step to achieving better outcomes through integrated care. The WISIC dashboards holds disease-specific population health dashboards, as well as a population overview dashboard which helps to show the North West London registered population by different demographic breakdowns to support population health management. In response to COVID-19, the WISIC team secured additional data feeds and developed a suite of COVID-19 dashboards to support clinical analytics and service evaluation within the integrated care system, but also to provide a view of the COVID-19 status and risk across the sector and understand its effect on the North West London population in order to provide targeted care. Huge variability lies both nationally and locally in the measurement and the setting up of care targets. WISIC's benchmarking dashboard helps to monitor the achievement of individual practices and health boroughs in helping to reduce the prevalence of diseases. WISIC contains two guest sites. The COVID-19 guest site contains aggregate dashboards which support the COVID-19 response. The ICS Analytics guest site contains operational aggregate dashboards within acute local care and primary care. Please contact the WISIC team to obtain the URL. Users do not require a password or username to gain access. As well as the WISIC dashboards, WISIC has a secure environment which contains anonymised patient data from all providers within North West London who are currently signed up to the WISIC information sharing agreement. This is to be seen as a self-service portal for North West London data for researchers and analysts to query anonymised data for their own projects, commissioning purposes or strategic planning. Access to this data set is determined through a strict application process governed by North West London Digital Security and Access Information Governance subgroup. Please contact the WISIC team for more information. There are two user access pathways for the WISIC dashboards. Please contact the WISIC team for guidance on how to gain access via a court guardian approval. Once you have received your username and password, you can access the dashboards 
by visiting the WISIC website and selecting Click here to sign into WISIC dashboards. The WISIC website also contains supporting materials such as user guides, quick reference guides, crib sheets and YouTube demonstration videos to assist the user in understanding the purpose, functionality and calculated definitions of WISIC dashboards and radars. Please contact the WISIC team at nhsnwlccg.wisic.dashboards at nhs.net. Thank you for watching.